But Zoom doing well. Who else is really being lapped up inside the enterprise world by big businesses? Yeah, well, this is an exciting report for us. It's the third time we've produced the Businesses at Work report. And last time, the, really the star of the show in terms of growth, emerging companies that this kind of report identifies was Slack. Mm -hmm. And Slack, along with Zoom, continues to do very well. Another surprising growth uh, story this time was Cisco Umbrella, which is a, a, a several security things that Cisco is doing and helping cu customers be more more secure deploying these applications. Interesting. Some of the old kids on the block are playing, catching up with the new kids. Who, who are the players who are being pushed down the ranks slightly this time around? I think there's a lot of growth across the board. Um, one thing we've seen is these new solutions like Sk Skype and modern things like that are replacing traditional collaboration tools like Yammer. Microsoft bought Yammer a few years ago, and what we've seen in our data is that the usage of Yammer has steadily declined over the last few years and been replaced with more modern, alter modern alternatives. Is Microsoft beefing up its own offering, therefore, and, and sort of suppressing Yammer purposefully? Do you well, think? Microsoft is, is innovating in the cloud. They're the number one app that uh, is used via Okta is Office 365. Mm. So Amazon, or, uh, Microsoft is going to the, to the world and basically saying, move your email to the cloud. And that's having very interesting effects. It's not only leading to the success of Office 365, but the data also shows that those companies that use Office 365 use a constellation of cloud apps around that and using that best of breed, even when they have Microsoft at the core, is very prevalent. But not as much as if you perhaps had Google Suites instead of Microsoft 365. Yeah, it's interesting. The data also shows that if you use Google as your email core, you're more likely to use a broader array of, of cloud applications Why? around that. I think, I think there's some things that are included with Office 365 that some companies use at kind of default. Okay. But I also think co companies that use Google are, are more best of breed. They're used to the, the innovation Google delivers, and they want to have the best tools around that to complement that innovation and really make it even more uh, innovative and more productive for their, for their users. It really does seem to be such a, a budgeting area at the moment, the enterprise area of technology. And, and are, we, are you seeing the likes of Cisco and perhaps the older players play catch up or are they going to be buying up some of these smaller individual startups do you think? Yeah, I, well everyone realizes now over the last few years that the transitions happening in cloud and what companies can do with cloud not only for their employees but how they can transform their organizations into digital companies, how they can build better websites, how they can build better mobile apps to reach their users and it's really a tremendous opportunity for every organization to transform themselves into a digital company, reach new users, grow their market share and they realize that cloud technology is at the core of it. So because of that, because of this huge transition, all the vendors, whether they're newer vendors like Zoom and others featured in our, in our report or traditional vendors like Cisco and Microsoft, they're, they're in the game and they're being aggressive about trying to provide value to customers and we think it's great because we think there's room for everyone. You see in the data, people like to use a lot of different services and the days of single vendors or vendor lock-in or one salesperson selling you everything you need to run your company are over and, and companies and users have choice and they have choice to use the best solution and drive their organizations forward. And that's where you come in because I'm then a CIO at a big business and I'm slightly concerned about all these various vendors and all these yeah. different also personal applications that my people are bringing in. This is where you start yeah. to bring the security around it. Exactly. So we, we build the identity cloud. So what the identity cloud is, is just like you might have a cloud for your customer data or your HR data, you need a cloud for your identity data. And what it does is it keeps track of all the people that access your technology, whether they're your users, your employees, your customers, and it makes sure that you're securely connecting those people to all the technology, be it applications or platforms, they need to do their job. And because of that, we, we, we can see in aggregate the trends of who's adopting what and what's taking off and what's maybe waning and how companies can be more successful from these technologies. Now, we've been talking about a lot of unicorns, and in fact, potentially you are one yourself. We've been looking at, I mean, your investor base is phenomenal. You look at Anderson Horowitz, you've got Greylock, Kozula, Sequoia. Are they pushing for an exit? Do you want an IPO? Do you want to sell your business? They've, they've been, like, from the beginning, they've been pushing for us to be massively successful. So whatever we need to do to grow the business and make customers successful, that's what they've been behind forever. These firms are... These firms aren't, aren't you know, new kids on the block. They have had a lot of success, and what they've seen is that if the customers focus, if, if their companies focus on the customer and make them successful, the returns will be there long term. So no 2017 public entry for Okta. 
can't comment on that. Uh, that's a shame. Well, when you do want to comment, come back. I will. Be my first stop on my commenting tour. I love that. <laughs>